Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the tab that Bungo released today. And uh, there's a lot of cool things here and a lot of just like whatever things. Honestly, I know a lot of people are kind of excited for the new loot pool. I personally just, I, I don't care quite honestly. I think it's <laughs> stupid, but let's look at the changes to stasis because i think those are really important stasis changes stasis breakout damage reduced from 110 to 90 which is really good adjusted the curve that reduces breakout damage using resilience increased the damage reduction effect resilience has so that higher tiers of resilience are more valuable uh, valuable caps out at 90 resilience so it looks like having higher resilience is better now which is really cool uh, so I think this is going to be more beneficial for Titans than anyone else, considering Titans already should have high resilience for their shield. So for me as a hunter, this is probably going to sting a little because I don't value high resilience. I value more mobility, heals, and literally anything else. So I, I still think this is all around good, uh, because I'm, I still play my Titan. Next one is Penumbral Blast, which is the Stasis Warlock Melee. Projectile speed reduced by 20% and the range is reduced from... Was 28 and it is now 6 meter, 16 meters. So before it was 20 meters, which is really crazy now that you really think about it. And now it's 16 meters, almost cut in half. I think... It's, mm, I don't know how to feel. On one hand, I'm like, yeah, fuck that melee. But on the other hand, I feel like the 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 range reduction and the speed reduction might just make that melee just kind of bad. So obviously, they're still gonna be checking and seeing if this is good enough. Uh, I think a lot of people would have been okay with the either a, a range reduction. Uh, projectile speed reduction would have been a great, as well, great one as well. I personally think they should have given Warlocks an option where they can do a fast melee and that will slow people or they can charge it to freeze. I think that would have been better. That would have been a lot better in my opinion. But I do see people complaining about that as well. Uh, I think it's just having a one hit melee that freezes is the, the big problem. But yeah, that's yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Next one is going to be Wrath, uh, Winter Wrath, which is the Warlock's Stasis Super. Basically, their duration is reduced from 30 seconds to 24 seconds. That one's pretty rough. And the Light Attacks, uh, they got a cost reduction. So instead of 5% per burst, it's 4.5% 4 4 per burst, which essentially probably means because of the, the reduced duration, you'll still be able to get the same amounts of hits that you can do beforehand so that's probably why they did that and then cold snap seeker speed reduced by 23 percent i actually did not see this when i first read this that's interesting this actually cold, i do think cold snap is a little too strong so i have to see him play with it i definitely think that's a good change because cold snap can be very fucking annoying the, this is like the, these next parts are like the changes that I really really like so cold snap freeze duration lowered from 4.75 seconds to 1.35 seconds ice flare bolts freeze duration lowered from basically the same thing penumbral blast stasis warlock melee freeze duration lowered from one uh, 4.75 to 1.35 winter's wrath heavy attack stasis warlock super no longer affects players who are not in case which is great as well i think these are all great changes specifically the cold snap ice flare like hopefully this just goes all around each like every every way you can get a stasis because four seconds basically five seconds is basically an insta kill it's an eternity so and I know people are going to be like, well, this one time, like a week ago when I was playing this very specific match, I was actually able to get out of there and I stayed alive. I get that. But majority of the time, it's an insta kill. You're going to get frozen and you're about to get free. You'll die or you'll actually get free. But because you actually broke out, your health is down. 
it literally a fart away from death. So hopefully this affects all of the ways you can get frozen because I just think freezing for a five seconds is basically an eternity. So I love those changes. Now let's talk about the loop. Uh, basically what they're doing is they're removing all legendary weapons that hit their infusion cap at the end of this season, which essentially means like the weapons that are going to stop being infusible next season, they, they took them out because of course no one wants to get a weapon that's going to be useless literally next season. It's stupid. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, that's a good change. I mean, shouldn't have been here. shouldn't have been here, but okay. And this is where I'm just kind of like, I know a lot of people are going to like these changes, but I know there's going to be uh, another group where they're just going to be like, this is fucking useless. So add all of these seven Seraph weapons from season 10 and add all of these season 11 seasonal and planetary reprisal weapons. Essentially, we're getting old weapons back and this is definitely, <laughs> definitely not like a fix in my opinion. This is just like... <clears throat> It's like, it's like Beyond Light is this ship that has so many holes, right? And instead of fixing the holes, they're just putting these like band-aids all around the holes. And they're just like, this will help hopefully. And it's like, no, like I personally, I, I could care less if seven Seraph weapons or season 11 seasonal weapons and planetary reprisal weapons were coming back because I wanted new weapons not old weapons that I already got and before you tell me oh well this is for people who don't have all the god rolls I don't have all the god rolls I think I have the god roll for the shotgun and I think the LMG and that's it I don't have the the god roll for the sidearm and the SMG for season of the worthy and I just me personally it's like what would you have rather wanted but Bungie to actually release an adequate amount of weapons. I'm not saying all of the weapons that we lost. I'm just saying enough weapons where we're just like, this is a good start. Because let's be real, let's be honest, the weapons that they gave us were minuscule. And that I'm being nice because it's pretty bad. Like take it take it as you want if you're a player who did not play in season of the worthy or season of arrivals then this probably is a good change for you because oh i never got those weapons but for someone like me who's already i've played those seasons i've already seen those weapons i have most of those weapons i'm just kind of like this does not do anything for me like at all i guess like the best thing i can really think of is yay these weapons aren't going to be retired for a year if that's the case or are they just going to release ser seven serif weapons but with the same old tag so what i mean by that is are they going to release seven serif weapons with the icon of this season or with the icon of season of the worthy because if that if it's that if it's that like that it's only seven if, if let me let me shut the fuck up and say this real quick if they release seven serif weapons with the season 10 logo then it, it changes nothing for me at least it changes nothing for the people who already have these weapons we're still going to be dried out for weapons we're still going to be wanting newer weapons because <clears throat> we won't even be able to use the seven serif weapons later on now if they get readjusted and then oh those are actually beyond light level weapons now then that's fine because then that means we can use those weapons for longer but i just i think this is just this is dumb honestly like i just i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments below that's really it guys uh i just wanted to make something real fast about this because i did like some of the changes here and there i'm not gonna go throughout the whole thing because it's just raid stuff if you guys don't know i'm gonna be raid i'm gonna be streaming the raid so I'll have my, my Twitch is my Twitch all my like social media stuff is in the description below. So if you guys want to catch me on the raid, I'm most likely gonna be streaming. Uh, I'll probably do a video saying that I'm streaming, but I will be streaming the raid most likely because I I'm gonna be playing it regardless. So I might as well fucking do it. And I definitely want to see if me and my clans can like hit that fir world first. Because can you imagine how wild buck wild that would be? That'd be crazy. 
yeah. Be safe, guys. You know what's happening in the world. I will see you guys later.